What's up guys, this is Chris, back with another video. So today guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we epically failed at last video. If you guys watched my last video, you guys know that me and Josh actually went snook fishing or were going snook fishing. Well, that never ended up happening. The, just rain, it rained for hours. Uh, we couldn't catch bait. A whole bunch of different things happened leading up to us going cobia fishing. Uh, but the whole plan was to go snook fishing and that didn't even happen. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. We are actually gonna be going snook fishing. So a lot of you guys don't know, you know, but me and Josh really don't live all that close. Uh, if you guys don't already, if you guys don't know who Josh is, um, go check out his YouTube channel. It's just Salty Scales. Um, I'll leave the, his link down in the bio. But if you guys don't know, you know, me and Josh really don't live all that close. I mean, we do, but we don't. You know, it's still a good little 40 to 50 minute drive for me. And then, you know, we got a, I believe an hour drive from him to where we're actually good, or from him, uh, where we're going snook fishing. But first, I have to go do something, guys. I actually gotta go to um, my dad's boat, the Pathfinder, and grab a rod out of there. Uh, we, you know, it has rod lockers, so I'll leave a lot of my saltwater rods in uh, the boat. And a rod that I, I guess, really need for uh, the type of snook that we're gonna be catching, which is, should be massive, is in the boat. So I'm gonna go do that. I got about, I'd say an hour, hour and 15 minute ride to the boat. And then from there, I got about an hour to an hour and 15 minute ride to Josh's. So I'll see you guys at the boat. Alrighty guys. So, we have made it to the boat. Just gotta get a couple rods out of here. Alrighty guys, I got the rod that I needed. So we finally got that taken care of. Got this rod. Now we just gotta go uh, get to Josh's house and go snook fishing. As easy as that sounds. Uh, still gotta find bait. I've been calling to different bait shops. We're trying to find some live mullet as we were trying to do in the last video. We're just looking for some live mullet so I'm calling around to different bait shops as I drive. Turn that off. Oh my God, this road is an absolute mess. I know you guys don't know anything about this gator shirt. Florida gator shirt, guys. Go check it out, saltyscales.com. Make sure you guys use uh, discount code CHRIS. You'll get free shipping. Um, sorry, I had to throw that in there. But in all seriousness, go gators. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys got to see this construction. I don't know if you guys can see in my back window there, but there's like miniature bulldozers and all of all these people working over here I can't even I don't even know where I'm going to be honest with you they got half the roads closed down in this neighborhood if I had to take a guess I'm probably gonna have to take a u-turn so we're headed to Josh's guys we got the rod and I will see you guys when I get there guys are seriously doing construction right now you guys remember all that uh, construction I told you I was going through and all that mud oh this is what it did to my truck <laughs> made it nice and dirty Alright guys, we got the boat hooked up, we're ready to go. So, just uh, walking around out front here, Josh is going to pick me up, and we're going to get the show on the road. Bro, if Josh 
Josh locked his keys in his truck while it's on. Bruh. 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 I really, really, really hope, really hope he's got a spare change of key. I don't even know what to say. Guys, I am in total awe. I was going to put my bag in the truck and the truck is locked and it is on. I really hope he's got spare keys because he's going to think I did it to be honest with you. It's a good thing I had the camera on. Let's see what he says. Yo! Yo. Bro. What? You locked the truck. What do you mean? Oh, thank God. Thought you were gonna catch me on a recording. Dude, I was. I was like, I was like, well, I started recording and I, th I went and pulled my handle and I was like, oh god, I think his side is locked too. And I was like, what did I say? I said he's gonna think I did this. You, sh you should have, you should have, because you. I was like, no way did he lock the truck. All right, guys, we gotta get some bait. Right, guys so we got what we needed from the bait store we got uh, some extra leader extra hooks and some frozen shrimp so we can actually catch some bait what do you think John we're gonna tear them up guys it's gonna be fun you guys are gonna learn I think that even though it's a brand new place do a little research put a little work in you can go out and have a good time watch this it's gonna be fun that's right guys never been down here never fished this uh, area or where we're going so we're gonna see what we can do There's the jet. You want to talk about getting me excited? Bro? All right, guys. So we've done some research on an area, and I don't know. I don't think that people can see the Garmin, but there are fish. We are marking fish all over the Garmin right now, and um, we're ready to catch them, man. We just got to get the baits and get them in the water. That's it. Oh, uh, we might go check on a place to see if they have any pinfish. Uh, we're gonna catch them right now, man. We don't even gotta check on anything. So we'll rig up a rod, and we'll catch them up. Y'all get ready. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a hell of a day today. Oh, we're gonna slam them, guys. I I'm looking forward to holding up two 40-inch snook at the same time. My other rod down there. Hey, could you grab me that white? All right, guys. We gotta catch some pinfish and some pigfish. Ten. All right, guys. So we got pinfish everywhere. We're trying to net them. You're ready to reel it up. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Whenever you're ready. Oh, there they are. There they are. We got some pinfish. Didn't even have to sabiki all day. One, one through. You this. All right, guys. So we have been out here officially for pushing five hours. We've got a, a live well, absolutely plum full of pinfish that are all about this big, and that's just too small. So we've been sabiking, I would say, for probably the past two, two and a half hours. Um, we got a sand perch. We got. Couple, couple um, big pinfish is what we were looking for. 
but not enough bait for what we want to do big baits so right now we're just uh we're gonna go look for some ladyfish you know that's our primary target we got some other baits we don't have any ladyfish uh, a lot the water is really where we're at the water is really um it's a lot of fresh water from the rain we've been getting a lot of rain lately so we're just gonna head over to a bridge and try and get some ladyfish Hey guys, Josh is hooked up. We're just uh, kind of fishing for ladyfish. Oh, there's multiples. Oh, I wish I had a rook. Should I throw a bait like a pinfish or something? Dude, there's a big old one under him. Guys, I think this is Josh's first real fish on this rod. Unless this is what you were using the other day. Oh, it was, yeah. There you go. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we're kind of on a little bit of a bite. We're actually uh, searching for ladyfish right now. What? We're actually searching for some ladyfish right now, guys, but, uh, oh, Josh just hooked up on another, I think. Is that him? Oh, yeah. Another snook. But anyway, guys, like I was saying, we're fishing for ladyfish four snook tonight but um we just ran on a pod of uh ran up on a pod of some uh, snook under some docks so we're just kind of josh decided to pick them apart and see if he could get some in the boat so. it's supposed to be my turn but he said a, he said one more cast maybe a couple more oh look at this he's taking all the fun Oh, one more, guys. You guys are hearing this. YouTube's hearing this. Kind of hope you hook up. As soon as it hits the water. Boiled on it. All right, another one, another one. YouTube, what are we're gonna count these? This is like number six, maybe seven. This is the last cast, boys and girls. Oh, he's boiling. They're right up against those rocks. Oh, look at him. He's, he's, a, he's addicted to the bite, guys. He has an issue. Guys, he has an issue. He's addicted to the snook. And if you're wondering, guys, why I'm not, don't have a line out, I'm operating the boat right now. Trying to keep us in the same spot. Tide's flowing out like crazy here, so. Look guys, he done fished out the whole hole and now he's gonna hand it to me. They're still sitting there, I promise. Let's see what we can do. Oh. oh! Come on guys, we gotta get one out of here. There we go. 
There we go, guys. Right on top. Nice little snook. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice. Nice little snook. Nice, buddy. Let's see if we can get another one. Ooh. Baby snook. Dude, he absolutely destroyed it. a little okay. <laughs> two casts, two fish. Babies, but hey. Oh, there's one behind him. Dude, there's three or four behind him. Guys, we could probably catch a hundred snook, but that's not our goal. Josh is still trying to catch some ladyfish because we want. They hit it really fast. That was a toad. Oh, they are destroying pilchers up on that wall. There you go. Come on, get them off and throw throw again at that uh, wall. Two casts, two fish again. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. They want snooks. A little bit baby. Yeah, let go. All right, guys. So this is the true test. We've been here since I would say what two o'clock. Yep. All right, two o'clock, it's now 9 p.m. Um, so we've been out here fishing for bait, as you guys know. Uh, now we're set up in the spot we want to be set up on, and uh, we're just waiting on the tides to flip. We're gonna put the baits down, and we're gonna wait for some monster snook. So let's see if we can get on them. Yeah! going to do it for today's video guys i appreciate you guys watching all the way through and if you did please give it a thumbs up make sure you guys uh comment down below what you guys think tips tricks questions anything you guys want to comment down below make sure you guys subscribe to the page for more make sure you hit the post notification button if you hit that you'll be notified every time i post a video as the day goes we had a great day overall me and josh ended up getting on a pot of snook i mean we ended up picking a part of the snook we probably caught about 15 so we don't we went down to an area that we did not know anything about we did some research online that's all we did check the tides made sure the moon phase was right and stuff like that and that's what prepared us to go have a decent day i mean we were going for some monster snook we knew monster snook were around this area and i guess the bite's been pretty hot but we didn't end up getting on them. The stronger tide was earlier in the day, but we wanted to go for them at night. So we were kind of iffy about the nighttime because the stronger tide was earlier in the day, but that's perfectly fine because we were just testing the area. I mean, we, like I said, we did some research and we were just testing it. You know, we, we didn't know if we were gonna catch any fish at all. We expected to, but we didn't know, you know, for a fact. But we got into those pot of snook. We had a really good time. Um, the bait issue, our main issue, just because there was a bunch of fresh water in this area and we were having a hard time catching ladyfish. Ooh, Jesus. 
Sorry, my door just slammed on my porch. It scared the crap out of me. But anyways, uh, we just couldn't catch ladyfish. We didn't end up catching ladyfish until the nighttime when we were fishing for the snook. And the tide, uh, the tide really started flowing in the nighttime, but we didn't get on them. Uh, they didn't stage back up where we thought they were gonna be. Story short, a thunderstorm rolled in around midnight to 1 a.m. Actually, it was probably more towards yeah, I think it was about 12.30 this thunderstorm rolled in. There was lightning popping everywhere, so we decided to call it a day. We had already been out there for 10 hours. so. But overall, it was a really productive day. So, Like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe for more, and have a great day.